Odisha is known for the distinctive, intricate handloom works across different regions of the state. The Merhampur Pata, Sambalpuri Ikat Silk, Bomkai or Sonapuri are few of the prominent handloom saris of Odisha. Namaskar Adab Sastriyakal Hello friends, welcome to my channel, My Inspiring Thoughts. The essence of my channel is to give you glimpses of the vast landscape of Indian culture and the richness of its heritage and traditions. I am equally eager to ignite curiosity about Indian culture in young minds and people from all over the world. After taking you through the various facets of the art and cultural landscape of India, let me give you an overview of the saris of India. Walk along my cultural journey to the Sari Yatra, an exploration of the history and significance of saris in the Indian context. Hey, if you are new to my channel and you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, just do that and hit the bell icon so that you can get to be part of the exciting and diverse Indian cultural journey. The traditional saris of India represent the diversity and culture in all the regions of India. With each sari, a history and story is attached, signifying traditional knowledge, geographical details, complex and skilled weaving themes and styling. There are more than 70 types of saris in dozens of different ways to drape them, depending on the region, the fabric type, climate and the occasion. Let's get to know about these different varieties of saris from the state of Odisha. Berhampuri sari or Berhampur Pata silk sari has its origins from the silk city of Odisha, Berhampur also known as Brahmapur. Berhampuri Pata are heavy silk saris with narrow borders generally woven without any intricate motifs. This unique pattern of weaving with the contemporary temple borders was introduced in Berhampur town in the 14th century by the Mohuri kings. This traditional temple pattern is called the Poda Kumba. Sambalpuri Sari, named after the town of Sambalpur, is a traditional hand-woven Bandha Sari, locally called Sambalpuri Bandha Sari. These saris are crafted using the Ikat technique, where the warp and the weft are tie-dyed before weaving to create beautiful designs. Sambalpuri ikats are double ikats with hazy borders and circular feature-like patterns which are achieved through several dye baths. These saris usually use both cotton and silk fabrics with motifs of Shankha Chakra Pool, Rudraksha and Temple Spires. These Sambalpuri ikat saris primarily feature three types of designs. Pasapalli, a checker board design. Bichitrapuri, wherein a band of ikat work lines are sandwiched between two big checkered blocks of Pasapalli. And Bapta is a combination of cotton and silk with use of golden threads. Do you know? How is the Sambalpuri ikat different from Pochampalli ikat? The Sambalpuri ikat uses several dye baths to achieve its motifs, while Pochampalli is essentially a resist dye technique. Bomkai saris, also known as Sonapuri saris, originated in Bomkai village. These cotton and silk saris are hand woven using both weft and warp techniques. The pallu is developed using extra weft and tie-dyed warp is processed for the borders. The pallu has intricate thread work with temple spire patterns on the border. 
The designs inspired by nature and tribal art include Karela, the Artasi flower, the Kanti pool, Padma pool, Mayur and Charai. Generally, Bomkai saris use very bright colors like red, black, dark green and dark blue. Dola Bedi is a traditional handwoven silk sari from Naupatna and Gopalpur weaving villages. This features a pallu that resembles a swing swing creating a unique and eye-catching effect. The Dola Bedi sari is known for its vibrant colors, intricate motifs and exquisite craftsmanship. The patterns represent the vibrancy of the festival Dola Purnima Oholi. The motifs have deep symbolism based on the Dola Utsav. Santali Puta Saris are hand-woven cotton saris which distinctive design of checks on the body and stripes on the pallu. In the Puta Kacha, the motifs are woven in a vertically symmetric pattern. The Jala Sari is asymmetric with heavily embellished floral motifs and grids on the pallu. The stripes are broader than that of Hotakacha. Patachitra is a traditional painting style unique to Odisha, traces its roots to the 12th century. The literal meaning of Patachitra is painting on cloth. Under the patronage of Puri Jagannath Temple and the royals, the Chitrakars or painters thrived, capturing iconic images from mythology and epics, folklores on canvas. The saris are made of cotton silk, cotton silk blend fabrics and hand painted using natural dyes deprived from fruits and vegetables. Floral borders are drawn around the painting. Sutta Luga, also known as Bada Bag, is a traditional cotton sari popular for their comfort, vibrant colors and affordable price, making them ideal for everywhere. This handwoven sari has a checkered body with ikat motifs on the border and pallu. Dongria saris are made of coarse organic cotton fabric. These are traditionally handwoven by Dongria Khand tribe. Triangles, which represent the Niyamigri hills, are woven in the border and the Pallu features temple motifs. Kotpat saris are woven by the tribal weavers of Mirgan community of Kotpat village in Koraput district. These are very special saris made of organic cotton and use natural dyes made from the old tree grown in this area. Interestingly, five shades of red and coffee color can be made from the same dye source. Ash from the kitchen and cow dung is used for preparation of the yarns, which gives it a unique smell. A vibrant red dyed border with temple designs is common. For most Indian women like me, the sari is not just another attire but an extension of my personality. So the next time you wear a sari like I do, just live the rich lineage that unfolds over as you wear it. Remember, you're wearing a piece of garment that has lived through centuries. Now that you have been a great audience to this overview of some of the finer aspects of the introduction to the Sari Yatra, the journey of Saris, I'm sure the next time you come across any of the above types of Saris, you will really appreciate the nuances. Namaskar till we meet again in the next episode of Sari Yatra. My Cultural Journey of Indian Saris.